Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is enjoying summer. Here where I am, I don't know that it's summer yet. It's still raining as it does for a majority of the year. But anyway, here we are for a simple tie today. This is one that I do during the busy season, market season, when I'm trying to keep inventory up and prices down, keeping the tie simple. So you can see here, I have a time and true V-neck shirt from Walmart. I believe they're on sale right now. I was there just the other day for $3.98. They tie great, they dye great, and you can always get them. So I'm just starting off with this one dry, spraying, with some soda ash and then you can see I'm just going to take my quilting ruler and draw a straight line down the center diagonal of the shirt again very simple and then I'm gonna just go ahead and pleat it and I will go ahead turn the music on for a few minutes you guys around so you would have a better better view of what I'm doing just pleating it down to the end of the shirt adding rubber bands you could also tie it with sinew if you wanted white lines on it uh, my one tip is to make the amount of rubber bands on each side of the sinew even so I, I think I do four or five rubber bands down on this one um i like the symmetrical kind of look of this shirt but it's your shirt do it however you'd like i'm just here trying to give ideas um that's why i like watching youtube videos just to get different ideas to get out of my rut i often get stuck on purples and doing the same fan fold especially when I'm trying to crank out a bunch of stuff I pick the same colors and so I turned YouTube to get a different idea And 
I don't know what the name of this tie is. I want to call it a spine tie, but I don't think that's the right name. Um, anyway, here's another thing that in my ice dyeing journey is mixing up dye under ice and dye over ice. On this one, I put the Cayman Green on the sinew lines and then on each other rubber bands, obviously. And then over the ice, I'm going to put Strawberry Skies from Happy Cap. Two colors. I think the results are pretty cool, but I encourage you to try a combination of dye under ice and dye over ice. I've gotten some of my best results doing that. Um, so yeah, just again, another idea. I don't know if it's the right way or the wrong way, but I like the outcome most of the time. put this gutter level I didn't do it on an incline and did the typical let the ice melt and batch for 24 48 hours whatever you feel like I do think on this shirt I could have done another round of ice I find strawberry skies usually takes a little bit more ice to get some movement or splitting but overall, I don't mind this shirt. If I'm rating it, I'd probably say a 6 out of 10. I think I would have liked it better. Again, if I would have put another round of ice on it. But here it is. There'll be a, a washed and dried one coming up. But I want to say thank you for watching. If you don't mind, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button button. If you're not subscribed, I am so close to getting this channel monetized. Not that I'm making money on it. I just would love to be able to link my store to my YouTube channel. So that's my goal for the summer is to get my watch hours up. Anyway, happy dying. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend.